What's up, guys? This Championship on the Line podcast of Rich and Alex. I know what you're thinking. This is Rich. Where's Alex? He's behind the camera. Hmm. We have Miles sitting in today. Hey. So we're here. <laughs> that was a little awkward. Anyways, we're going to watch a Chris Wildcat Harris figure. Uh, this is a Marvel figure from 2006. I remember going to Toys S as a kid, rushing to the wrestling figure out just to get this. I don't know if you have any memories of this figure. I have a couple. You have a couple? Yeah. What do you like? Because we had so many. You had Pete Williams online, uh, Jeff Jarrett. I was a big fan of Rhino. Rhino was cool. I had that. I actually just bought that recently. But we're, we won't do that unboxing for sure because everyone pinched my arm. My <laughs> pinched my arm. Everyone twist my arm for this figure. So I'm excited the votes to open were to open. And the reason why we're opening it is because we just interviewed Alex and I had him on the package about two weeks ago. So it was an honor to speak to him. This whole TNA run and his WWE run. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so cool. we're gonna start opening it. Can I open it? Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> Let's do it. Those are the We got an old oh, box right here. here. Can tell it's going to take a while, <laughs> but I'll do some commentary over that. So for the history, guys, Reggie Toy Biz was in charge of WCW. Then Toy Biz took over, I guess you can say they take over the figures, but it switched into Marvel. So it became Marvel toys. But the reason why they changed to Marvel figures is because they acquired the Marvel licensing. So there you go. But then about a few years later, Marvel cut their licensing from Marvel figures. So they couldn't. Imagine that your company, your, your, your license gets cut, right? But the name of your company is Marvel figures. So where do you go from there? So it pretty much ended the Marvel toy deal with Impact. And then Impact ended up joining forces with Jack Pacific, which is perfect because Jack Pacific was with Diddy for many years. So, of course, I always love these figures. Because I think they really started with, like, I think there's pretty good articulation overall. Yeah, it looks like it. And one thing I love about this figure, as you can see right here, the TNA, uh, well, NWA protecting belts, which is cool. Because I think this is the only way you can actually get an uh, NWA world title. At least. Swiss ties were terrible. And I remember myself as a kid, I had asked my, aunt, my uh, mother to open this. I <laughs> couldn't pronounce them all for a second, but. It took me a little while. <laughs> it took me a while, yeah. Because these are terrible. Like, I was like, what, in third grade? I don't know what grade you were. So opening these were a pain in the butt to open these. Uh, they stand good. They stand perfectly in the belt. I really appreciate the detail. Even as a grown man, you can't open this thing. But there's a belt, which is beautiful. Like that. One thing I like about this figure, even the art's pretty cool. I even like the packaging, it's so simple and like it's colorful, it pops with the blue and red. It's an old belt. Let's see it. Let's put it on. And this line was awesome too. Because you had Petey Williams, you had Rhino, you had Kevin Nash, I had all of these when they came out. Wanna take a look it's at just awesome. Oh yeah. It's so awesome. And one thing I always you guys probably know from the Jax figures. This is from 2006, so you could do the math how old this is. Um, there's no like stickiness on the, on the, what's it called? On the jacket, on the figure. Cause usually when they stay in packages for like 10 plus years, they get really sticky. And I don't know, it has something to do with like the rubber. But there's no like paint issues or anything on it. And with his end of a TNA title, it's great. I mean, he had the tag team title, I believe, seven times. Except once was with Elix Skipper, I believe. But there you go, you get the whole effect right there. If he stands there. <laughs> there you go. This is really one of my favorite figures. It even hurt me opening this because yeah. we had to do a vote. It's a really nice jacket on there. That's what I'm looking at. There's not much detail mm -hmm. for them. I think th I think Marvel Toys is so underrated for the figures. <clears throat> I really felt when the original toy biz. A little on the top over here, a little detail. But yeah, so guys, I hope you guys like this video. If, you know, we're gonna do more unboxing in the future. But the reason why we wanted this man to be our first unboxing is because Championship Live went to Alex and Miles also now is because we had him on and he had a great career. He talked about his TNA NWA career. He talks about his WWE run and life after wrestling. So guys, you know. Click the link in the bio, and uh, yeah, you could uh, watch your interview with uh, Wildcat Harris, and plus more to come. Any other comments? Um, no, I'm just excited to open an old figure that I've been wanting to open for a long time. Yeah.
I'm really excited too. I, it's a little painful to open it. Cause I can tell. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because I'm a little weird about it. You didn't want to open this. I didn't want to open it. We had to do votes on Instagram. Yes, we it, also it, has an Instagram page, so it, check that out for Championship Online. It was voted in, so. And voted in. I voted no, but my vote didn't count, so there you go. Oh.